Hey guys, Brain here and welcome to a brand new episode of Tech News, the series on this channel where I give you the weekly or daily breakdown on some of the most important and top trending tech news that you should know about, keeping you informed whenever something new pops up. Today's video will be quite short mainly because there are only a few stories that I wanted to talk about specifically and I don't want to drag on the video for long with content that wouldn't interest me much I probably would bore you. So today's main and only information source is TheVerge.com, so let's begin. Samsung's first Exynos 9 chip is faster, uses less power and supports Gigabyte LTE. Samsung is taking a big step forward on both processing and LTE speeds with its next mobile system on a chip. The chip called the Exynos 9 Series 8895 is supposed to perform 27% faster than its predecessor and consume 40% less power. It's also Samsung's first to support Gigabit LTE, offering much faster speeds on networks that support it. The big gains come from Samsung shifting over to a 10 nanometer process for its chip series, allowing it to make a more efficient processor. This means Samsung is following right behind Qualcomm on the move from a 14 nanometer process to a 10 nanometer process. Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon SoC, the 835, also uses a 10 nanometer process and supposedly includes speed improvements and a 25% power reduction. There's no good way to say which company's 10 nanometer SoC will come out on top until they are checked out, but today's announcement suggests that they're likely to stay about on par. Top chips from Samsung and Qualcomm have tended to be roughly equivalent, with each performing a little better in some areas, be it battery usage or graphics, and a little worse in others. So quite an interesting turn of events right there. In terms of main specs, the Exynos 8095 has an octa-core processor and its GPU is supposed to include graphics improvements for 4K VR and gaming. Samsung says the processor supports video recording at 120 frames per second 4K and cameras with a resolution of up to 28 megapixels. It also supports dual camera setups allowing for features like the iPhone 7 Plus portrait mode. And now on to more news on Samsung. Samsung's Galaxy S8 will reportedly go on sale April 21st, according to a report from ET News that cites a high-ranking official for a mobile network provider, Samsung will put the S8 on sale worldwide on April 21st. This will reportedly follow an unveiling of the phone in New York on March 29th, a date that has already been reported by other sources. If the leaks are to be believed, we'll see two new galaxies in March, the S8 and the S8 Plus. The S8 is reported to have a 5.7-inch display while the latter has a monstrous 6.2-inch screen. We are also expecting a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 835 processor, 4GB of RAM and a 12MP rear-facing camera in each device. Other rumored specs include iris scanner functionality for the S8, first seen on the ill-fated Note 7, and now the standard IP68 dust and water resistance on both devices. The menu feature of the S8 seems to be a buttonless design with slim bezels and rounded corners. The new report from ET News also claims that LG's next flagship, the G6, will go on sale on March 10th. We already know the device will be unveiled at MWC in a few days' time, and the phone is expected to come equipped with a ride angle dual camera system and an unusually tall 5.7 inch screen with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. New information and leaks are coming out every day about these devices and if you want to be informed, pay attention to my uploads where I will try to keep you up to date on any new information that surfaces. And now on to our final story, Qualcomm announces a new VR headset, Leap Motion Partnership and Accelerator Program. Qualcomm is launching an accelerator program for VR headset manufacturers, releasing a new headset reference design and partnering with hand tracking company Leap Motion. The company is looking to kickstart production of headsets with features not found in the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, including an all-in-one wireless design that removes the need for wires or external tracking devices. This continues a mission it first announced last year but with an updated hardware and a goal of making it easier to build off Qualcomm's work. And this is actually a really interesting improvement in VR, mainly because what they're claiming are new device designs that are all-in-one, which make things easier to contain and use almost like having an all-in-one PC, where the only thing you need is the one piece that comes with it. The virtual reality development kit, as Qualcomm calls it, is a self-contained design built on the company's Snapdragon 835 chip. It has a 2560x1440 screen equivalent to the Gear VR, 
4 gigabytes of ram and 64 gigabytes of flash memory there are also cameras both inside and outside the headset on the inside they enable eye tracking a sometimes gimmicky feature that can also make it easier to push high quality graphics inside the headset on the outside they allow for inside out or six degree of freedom tracking which means people can experience moving around in a vr without needing a specifically assembled vr room the deal with flip motion probably the most advanced independent hand tracking company also puts an exciting new interface on the table Qualcomm isn't planning on selling this reference design to consumers, instead manufacturers are supposed to create their own products based on it. Qualcomm was already touting partnerships when it released its first version of the headset. The accelerator program though is meant to streamline the process. It creates a standard for hardware including a set of pre-approved components. The accelerator program is open today while the headset will start shipping in the second quarter of 2017 for an unannounced price. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep up to date on the top trending and most important tech news, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Subscribe for new videos every single week and comment below on what you think. For source links, check out the description below. You can also find links to previous videos. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.